Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics problem and it reads determine the magnitude of the hydrostatic force acting on the gate AB which it has within 2 feet. Uh, the specific weight of water is uh, gamma is equal to 62.4 pounds per cubic feet. Right, solution. There we go again. So we have this particular gate and uh, in 3D it will look something like this. I may not be that very good but i will draw something that represents this is the gate this is the gate and then we have the other part here something like this okay so this is how it looks okay and then we have the water something like that okay so it's looking like that and then we have been told that dimensions for this this one the width of this is two feet i'm going to call this b is equal to that like so so we have point a and point b we want to find the pressure i mean the force so now um We'll have the pressure at A because we've got this height. We'll have the pressure at B. We we'll have this height, right? And um, let's find the length of LB. So I'll say AB. I mean AB. AB is going to be equal to um, three squared. This one plus four squared. That one. This is going to be equal to 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, root of 25 is 5. So AB is 5. Okay. So having found that, let's find the pressure at A. I'm going to call PA. Okay. PA. And we know PA is going to be equal to density times HA times gravity acceleration due to gravity so this is going to be 62.4 uh, times this is 62.4 times ha which is six feet times g we need g here uh, g it is already within here so sorry about that sorry that's not density so sorry we've already been given specific weight specific weight specific weight is equal to rho right times g and this is already 62.4 pounds per feet sorry about that great and then our ha is going to be equal to specific weight which is this okay i mean no not ha pressure at a is equal to specific weight rho g which is specific weight so i can write it as specific weight and then times ha right is that so so this is going to be equal to 62.4 times ha which is 6 therefore this will give us 62.4 by 6 so this is equal to 374.4 uh, pounds per um this is a cubic per square feet all right and then the the line distributed force is going to be equal to b times pa which is equal to uh, 2 times 374.4 and this gives us um, a 748.8 pounds per feet all right so we found that uh, so if I was to draw this okay, I'll draw it later on then let's find my PB PB is going to be equal to gamma times HB. This is going to be equal to a 62.4 
times what set be the height h be the height is 4 plus 6 this 10 therefore this is going to be equal to 624 uh, um, pounds per square feet and qb as qb qb is going to be equal to b times pb so it's 2 times 2 times 624 624 so this one is uh, is equal to 1248 pounds per feet so we are going to draw this distributed of course it's supposed to be at the centroid yeah okay but i'll draw it here so imagine this i'm uh, I want to draw this and this okay which is going to be acting at this line here to be acting there right but i'll draw it on this line here because it's difficult the other side so it's going to be like so perpendicular to a so we have this point that i'm calling qa and then i have another point all right that i'm calling uh, qb okay then it's like this okay strapezoid right so um so what we are going to do is now i can use uh the area for a trapezoid and calculate it and if you want to calculate the centroid of, uh, I mean, the centroid of the resultant, then you can partition this. I did that in the other video, so I'll not do it in this particular video. Okay. So now, uh, for the trapezoid, for the trapezoid, we know that this becomes our height, this one here. And our height is going to be equal to the length of AB. Okay. So... The resultant force, which will be something like this, is going to be acting perpendicular. Okay. Resultant force, and if we are asked to find exactly where it is acting y prime, then you can check in my previous videos. All right. So my resultant force, I'll use the formula for area of a trapezoid, it's going to be equal to A plus B, or instead of using A plus B, I'll say QA plus QB divided by 2 times H. What's my QA? My QA is a uh, 748.8. And what's my QB? It is 1, 2, 4, 8 divided by 2. And what's my height? My height for this, we found it to be what? The height, which is equal to AB, okay? See the height of AB there. Is what? It's 5. And my resultant force is going to be equal to... So 1, 2, 8. 1, 2, uh, 7, 4, 7, 7, 4... 8.8 .8 plus 1248 divided by 2 then times 5 so we are finding our result to be 4992 um pounds okay pounds you can convert this to keep if you want but i'll leave it like this for me so my result and force which is this one here is going to be equal to um it's going to be equal to um, four nine nine two pounds or now to calculate where it is positioned check my my, my my previous videos i've done that okay so this is my result and force acting on uh, this plate a b or get a b Thank you for listening. I hope the video was helpful. Please continue subscribing and liking and commenting. Bye-bye and see you in my next task.